Well, we're seeing quite extraordinary scenes in the Baltic Sea off Denmark right now. The sea surface almost appears to be boiling like a cauldron, uh, and that's been caused by all this gas escaping from those leaking pipelines, and planes and ships in the area are being told to stay away. Now, analysts say there's next to no chance that there'd be three separate leaks in these pipelines at the same time, raising fears that this is an act of sabotage. Uh, seismologists in Sweden say they detected what could have potentially been explosions earlier in the week, and now countries like Denmark, Norway and Poland say that this does look deliberate. Uh, but when the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, was asked about it earlier, he said that more investigation is still needed. Now, due to the war in Ukraine, neither of these pipelines uh, are currently taking uh, Russian gas to Europe. So this won't have a major effect in the short term on European gas supplies because, for the most part, Russia has switched off the tap. Uh, but what is significant is the timing of this because it happened at the very same time that a new pipeline was being launched, a pipeline that would take gas from Norway under the Baltic Sea down to Poland. And that gas pipeline would have helped Europe and Poland in particular uh, wean itself off Russian gas. And so while while there is no evidence currently pointing to Moscow being involved in this, analysts say that Moscow would have the motive to at least show the West that uh, serious uh, energy infrastructure like this uh, isn't safe. Uh, as for the, the leak itself, it may continue for some days. Uh, uh, authorities in Denmark say that the, the gas is gradually being cleared from the pipeline, but at the moment it's still leaking methane and that could continue uh, for several days.